Hey folks, Fernando Jr. Our video for Tomorrow's Survivalists and given that it's Friday and this is something that it's been requested several times, a list of some of my favorite survival movies. So if you're looking for something to watch, I probably have here something that you haven't seen that you will most likely find interesting. So I try to put together a, a decent list of, of movies, uh, survival related movies that I've watched and liked and some of these that you may not have heard of, not seen before. So let's get to it. Number one, the first one is the Survivalist. This is a British movie or it's a British Irish collaboration. It's filmed in Northern Ireland and actually one of the parts where I lived um, for, for some time and I know that spot pretty well. But The Survivalist, this is a 2015 movie. This is one of my favorite survival movies. It's a little bit tough. It's you know plus 18 for sure. Not for watching with kids, definitely not. Even some adults may be a little bit triggered by it. But man, it is very realistic in some of the more horrible aspects of desperate people in a, in a bad situation. Um, it is definitely worth watching. I, I think it's, yeah, it's a very good movie. I think that in general it's a good movie, but the... The, the gritty, desperate aspect of hunger, of, of survival, is, is quite vivid in that movie. Um, so yeah, The Survivalist, that would be my number one pick for this list. Uh, number two, this is something you probably haven't seen before, it's called Survival Family. Now, Survival Family, it's a Japanese movie, 2016, and very few people have seen it. And you're going to be having to go through, put up with subtitles, I had no problem watching the, the movie in Japanese with the subtitles. It's actually even funny in many cases. And it's maybe one of the best depictions of how a family would deal with a large-scale disaster. It is fantastically done in terms of how it evolves from normal times to you know, post-SHTF ones in a very realistic manner. You know, Hollywood sometimes can help themselves to make this um, unrealistic. Survival Family is super realistic how all of that goes down. That would be one of the movies to watch. Number three is very little known movie from Argentina. It's called Phase 7. So Phase 7, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's from, it's quite old, but it's based on a pandemic very similar to coronavirus. It's actually, it's actually freakishly similar to coronavirus, the way in which they, they show how people start reacting. But Argentine movie, subtitles, but I think it's worth watching. It's, it's actually quite funny to some point. Um, so yeah, there it is. Number four. This is probably something you've uh, seen already 28 weeks later from 2007. That's a uh, that, that's like more of a classic zombie movie, but it's very well done. And how they show the empty city and um, people, you know, getting by with all of that. I, I liked it a lot. 28 weeks later, definitely there uh, in the list. Number five is not really a movie. It's a series that started right now. This is for from Netflix. To the Lake is Russian. It's Five, I think it's, it's the first season already in, in Netflix available. I just saw the first, or I just saw part of the first, um, uh, the, the first episode. It's very good. Seems to be very good. I think it's worth watching. Check it out. Number six would be Day After Tomorrow. You know, well-known movie, 2004, but if you missed it, you definitely want to watch it. Number seven is The Rover. And this is a, a, one of those less-known movies, but The Rover is... Man, you have to watch The Rover. <laughs> it is great. The Rover would be like a, a realistic Mad Max. So it's set in Australia. Think of it this way. Uh, and it's a movie with Guy Pearce, which I love the way the guy acts. It's a fantastic actor. And Robert Pattinson, the guy from uh, was like Twilight, the, the, the vampire teen movie. But he acts quite well in general. And this is one of the movies where he did a very good job. So the rover would be like a realistic Mad Max, like Australia gone third world. I know the third world quite well. And imagine it's like Australia all of a sudden becoming like Latin America where everything is a big mess and nothing seems to be working and it's kind of, you know, 
Uh, you have to watch it. Go watch the rover because it's absolutely worth your time. Number eight, No Escape. This is a little bit more known movie. It's a, a better known movie. Um, but it's still a little bit under the radar yet. And you want to watch No Escape. This is with Owen Wilson, which is usually uh, a guy that does, does comedy. But he does a very good job in this movie. Um, so it's it would be like a, a guy on holidays with his family in some... Asian country that all of a sudden sees uh, a civil and political unrest and it becomes like a civil war and the guy is caught in there with his family. So it is very well done. It's a, a very good movie. You definitely have to watch No Escape. Uh, I at least liked it and I think it's very realistic how they deal with the violence, normal people dealing with that sort of thing. Of course, still a movie but uh, yeah. Number nine, Frozen, and not the Hollywood, not, not the, um, not not a Disney version of Frozen, but a 2010 version of Frozen. And in this uh, movie, you have a a, um, a couple of guys that are in the you know they, they they've gone skiing and they're like in, in the chair, the lift, and it suddenly gets stuck and they're be, and they're left there overnight. And if you've ever gone skiing and you've been in that little chair, you may have wondered, what, it, what the hell would I do if I'm stuck here? Well, these guys end up getting stuck there and the movie is pretty, especially if you have any skiing experience or if you, you've done it before and you, or you do it frequently, it will kind of freak you out next time you're up there. But it's, yeah, you know, it's not the greatest movie, but it's definitely worth uh, watching if you haven't seen Frozen. Number 10 would be The Impossible. Now, The Impossible is, it stars in, in Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor. So, you know, big name in Hollywood actors. But The Impossible, it's, I don't, I don't know if it was, it's actually a Spanish movie, but filmed in English. Um, Man, you have to watch it because it is based on the tsunami of, what, what was it, like 2007, 2000, I don't even remember. But that big tsunami in, in, in those, affecting those, uh, the coast of those Asian countries, what was it, Thailand? I, the impossible is based on a true story. So, and, and it's very well depicted, perfectly depicted how uh, a tsunami ends up going down and affects people and the aftermath of all of that so yeah you have to watch the impossible it's there in the list and it's maybe one of the best movies here in the list as well so there's no order specifically maybe the, the couple the, the two first movies but this last one the impossible is also a uh, pretty pretty great so i'll leave the link below with the list with, with the movies you know in case you want to you know, skip through that a little bit faster. I leave the link below for my books, also available in Amazon if you want to get those. One last movie, of course, if you haven't seen Mad Max, the last, the, the latest Mad Max, Fury Road, dude, what are you doing here? Just go watch Mad Max Fury Road. It's absolutely worth your time as well. That's going to be all for now. Enjoy your weekend and watch some of these movies, which are pretty good. See you next time. Have a great day.